Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Buckle up, because today we're throwing two titans of the tank world into the arena. In one corner, the battle-hardened American M1A2 Abrams SCP V3, a veteran with decades of experience under its treads. In the other corner, the much newer, technologically advanced Russian T-14 Armada, a challenger shrouded in secrecy. Let's see if the new kid on the block can dethrone the king. First, a little history lesson. The Abrams has been a fixture on battlefields since 1980. Developed during the Cold War, it's seen service with the US military and key allies like Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. Over the years, it's gone through numerous upgrades, culminating in the current M1A2 SEP V3, a beast bristling with the latest technology. Thousands of Abrams tanks have been built, forming the backbone of armored forces around the world. The T-14 Armada, on the other hand, is a newcomer, entering service with the Russian military in 2014. Unlike the Abrams with its widespread deployment, the T-14 Armada remains shrouded in secrecy. Only a handful are currently operational, primarily used for parades and high-profile military exercises. The Abrams is a heavyweight champion, tipping the scales at a formidable 73 tons, it offers significant protection for its crew of four. This crew is housed in a compartment separated from the ammunition storage, a crucial design feature that enhances survivability if the tank is hit. The T-14 Armada takes a different approach. It's a lighter tank, weighing in at around 48 tons, thanks to its revolutionary unmanned turret. This means the entire crew of three, the commander, gunner, and driver, are housed in a heavily armored capsule within the hull, completely isolated from the main gun and ammunition. This is a game-changer in terms of crew safety, potentially allowing them to fight on even if the turret is disabled. Both tanks are shrouded in secrecy when it comes to their exact armor composition. We know they're layered beasts of composite materials, advanced ceramics, and possibly even depleted uranium, designed to stop the most potent anti-tank weapons on the battlefield. Imagine a high-tech sandwich designed to deflect or absorb anything an enemy throws at it. Firepower-wise, the Abrams packs a serious punch with its 120mm smoothbore cannon. This cannon can fire a variety of shells, from armor-piercing depleted uranium rounds to high-explosive squash head rounds capable of taking out buildings and fortifications. The T-14 Armada counters with a slightly larger 125mm smoothbore cannon, potentially offering a bit more armor penetration. But the real innovation here is the autoloader system. While the Abrams relies on a human loader to feed rounds into the cannon, the T-14 Armada automates this process, allowing for a significantly faster rate of fire. When it comes to getting around the battlefield, the Abrams, despite its weight, is surprisingly spry. Its powerful engine can propel it to speeds of over 40 miles per hour, allowing it to keep pace with mechanized infantry units. The T-14 Armada, with its lighter frame and even more powerful engine, might have the edge here. Estimates suggest it can reach speeds closer to 50 miles per hour, making it a true mobile weapons platform. But speed isn't everything. Operational range is another crucial factor. The Abrams can travel around 265 miles on a single tank of gas, meaning it can operate for extended periods without refueling, a vital capability for long-distance deployments. The T-14 Armada's range is still under wraps, but some reports suggest it might be slightly less, potentially limiting its operational flexibility. This is where things get interesting. The Abrams has a proven track record, having seen action in Desert Storm, the Iraq War, and the Gulf War. It's been battle-tested and refined over decades, with its performance lauded by crews for its reliability and survivability. The T-14 Armada, however, is a complete unknown in real combat. Its fancy features are impressive on paper, but how will they hold up in the chaos of a real battlefield? Will its advanced systems be susceptible to electronic warfare or mechanical breakdowns? Only time will tell. So, who takes the crown in this clash of the titans? Here's the thing. The T-14 Armada is undeniably a technological marvel. Its unmanned turret, autoloader system, and advanced armor are truly impressive. But warfare is a complex beast, and real-world combat throws a lot of curveballs. The Abrams, with its extensive combat experience, proven reliability, and large user base with strong logistics networks, still holds the edge. Don't get me wrong, the T-14 Armada represents a significant leap forward in tank design. But for now, the Abrams remains the king of the battlefield. It's a testament to the importance of a proven design, reliable performance, and strong logistical support. However, the T-14 Armada's arrival signifies a new era in armored warfare. 
As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more innovative and deadly tanks rolling onto the battlefield in the years to come. So, what do you guys think? Is the T-14 Armada a game changer, or is the Abrams here to stay? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic military matchups.